makes you special. Ah! Total atomic annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours may fall to you. That's why oh my. Have prepared these educational materials for you to better understand the seven defining attributes that make you special. Now, let's I have a lot more defining attributes than that, I'll have you know. Anyway, welcome everybody. This is Fallout 4. I am Angry Annie. And, uh, you may be wondering, well, what about Fallout 3? Well, <clears throat> I mean, let me tell you a little bit about Fallout 3. <laughs> I got uh, most of the way through the game, actually. Uh, well, as far as, as much as you could say that you've gotten through a Bethesda game, there's a lot of content, but I got pretty far along in the storyline, and uh, <clears throat> had to toss out most of the footage because it was corrupted, because I didn't bother checking any of it while I was recording those dozens and dozens of hours of gameplay. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, Fallout 3 was on, or Fallout 4 rather, was on sale, and I figured, oh, let me pick it up, and have a little adventure with you. I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun. Uh, well, I suppose it'll start at some point. Funny how they focus on the power armor for this kind of thing. Apparently that's become kind of a defining attribute of the Fallout series. Iconic power armor. As far as I can tell, the power armor in Fallout 3 didn't have jump jets. So, not quite sure just how interested I'm going to be in it. I am all about the jump jets. Well, the Mjolnir armor didn't have jump jets. And I'm very interested in the Halo series. Mm. War. War never changes. That's so incredibly true. I mean, tactics that they've been using for 5,000 years are still in use today. My great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. Mm. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Mm. The world awaited Armageddon. Oh, um. Instead, <laughs> somebody planted a very weird mushroom. Was happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. Unlimited power! Science fiction, domestic robots, fusion powered cars. Hmm. Fusion-powered bicycles? <laughs> I look at that and I then I look at my Kindle and I'm like, <laughs> people awoke. <coughs> dream. <coughs> Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. Uh. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. Are these? And I am afraid. Oh my god, that looks like Wakanji. For myself. For my wife. I'm looking at these cut this uh for my infant son. intro and I'm thinking, is this this can't be rendered, can it? This looks very War. War never changes. Mm. Sorry, that's that kind of kind of gets to me. 
Ah. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Will you stop already? You think? My eyes are already moist. Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. <laughs> hmm. Wifey's got kind of a uh, Reese Witherspoon thing going on. Oh, I see. Are you... Try to look at the back of my head and I can't. Just like in real life. Wow, so realistic. Alright, um... Oh! Uh... Yikes. So we got, uh, Fred Ward. Um... Can't tell who. Grady Mahara. Um... Uh... Joe Pantaleone. <laughs> ah! Uh, Ron Howard. With a hairpiece. Uh... Denzel Washington, maybe? Um... Put glasses on that, and that's Adam Savage. <laughs> uh, nope, no idea. Um, got nothing, sorry. Ah, oh my god! Dolph Lundgren! Uh, yeah, you know what, let's go with Dolph Lundgren. Hey, my Sounds turn, good. Big guy. Yikes. Uh, how about you, wifey? No, I don't want, like the Reese Witherspoon. Um, Zoe Saldana, maybe? I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> no clue. Uh, generic Asian face. No idea. Um, uh, crap, you know what? I, she looks some, I, I know the face that this looks like, and I can't place the actress's name. Geek. Resting bitch face. Um, Uma Thurman. <laughs> She's the perfect match for Dolph back there, I think. Oh my god. That is, that's pretty. I don't even know, but that is a pretty, pretty face. Oh, from, um, can't think of the actress's name, but she played, uh, Audrey in, um, Twin Peaks. Crap, why can't I think of her name? The dominatrix look. I mean, the purple eyeshadow is a little much, but... That looks like a teacher I had once. Can't think which one, but I remember seeing that face in front of a. Yeesh. I do not like that hairdo. That is too much work. <laughs> Start from this base face and see what we can. Actually, no, the, the color's fine, but the style is. Oh, that's that. Yeah, no. That's cute. That is. not. <laughs> a rough night. <laughs> Ew. Again, too much work. Even that's too much work. <laughs> no apologies. Alright, let's go with that. Alright, I'm done messing with this. Confirm character. Oh. Dolph, honey, don't spend all night, night in the uh, bathroom. You've got a speech to make. <laughs> Is the empty box from Mr. Handy. That's the type of robot that we've got here. Ah, good morning, Bob. <laughs> oh, Codsworth. Uh, I somehow doubt that Codsworth. Last 
first experience that I had with one of your ty- type of robots uh, didn't end well. Uh, hey, sugar bombs. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. <laughs> hey, when you got a long day, that could be important. A fusion stove? Fusion fireplace. I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Yeah? Why's that? Hey, hon. We should take Codsworth to be serviced soon, don't you think? Oh, we just got him. Um, whatever. I have a feeling that I missed something. Ah, whatever. Yeah, I forgot to set the names and whatnot. All right, so what are we doing here? Uh, generic book. Last time I bought a book like that, uh, I ended up filling it with everything. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. <laughs> What's bothering you? Enjoy your coffee, Mom. Hey, Codsworth. Don't worry about the dishes. That's my job. Yeah, why do you need a saw blade for doing dishes and caring for babies? Hi. Oh. Oh, you're adorable. Oh my god. Yeah, well, you're, uh... Well, never mind. Hmm. Club's a little big now, but Sean will grow into it. Sean? Maybe if we ignore him, we'll go away. <laughs> Sean? Why would we... Why would we, we... A, ignore him. B, want him to go away. Oh, are you talking about the war? Yes. Drink the coffee. Hey, Grognak. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> the Jungle of the Bat Babies. Oh, that's so cute. Ice cold. He's still there. Indeed. I'm kind of impressed. What? Hmm. More of the same. Oh, that's right. This takes place in Boston. Oh. Oh, the doorbell. Go on. Nice to find you, ma'am. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of This guy looks like he belongs in the 50s. I assure you. Uh, okay. What's so important? Why nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse me. Ah, Trump supporter. The big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now I know what years does this take place? Before, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um... 1983? A precious... 2016 into the local vault. Woo! Vault the vault. Yeah, sounds great. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance. In the unforeseen event of uh, that, total that voice doesn't really fit that face. I just need to verify some information. That's all. I'm thinking he should be talking like this. Uh, what? Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home. I assure you. Not to mention 
total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. As long as it doesn't have a cloning facility, I'll be I'm all for it. <laughs> Gary. All right. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. That's splendid. I have 21 points to spend. Oh, that doesn't just start me off with something. I actually have to spend these. I'm going to be strong and durable. And perceptive. Intelligence will be... Uh... Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's... Oh, God. Tell us about yourself. Fault Tech needs to know what kind of citizen you are to ensure your future happiness. You've been granted entry into the vault. See, that's that's the kind of voice the guy should have. That was that kind of generic tenor just doesn't fit the face. But uh, of course, Anger T Andy, Annie. There we go. And wonderful. That's everything. Walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Uh-oh. Damn it, a freaking sarcastic robot. Codsworth. My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, better not be. Mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? I already did. It's cute. Where's the music coming from, though? That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of <laughs> Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. All right. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? What the hell? Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're Codsworth? What did he say? Stations. Oh dear. We do, we, do have, we do have coming in. That's um. Okay, so this takes place in 2077 when the war happened. Reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh. Uh oh. Vault 111. Alright, I'll just follow Nate then. Ugh. Yep, everything's gone to heck in a handbasket. Nate, you're still in your pajamas. Check it in. Oh my god, that's my vault tech rep. I'm reporting the vault program. If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return. We need to get Oh. We're on the list. Big guy in armor. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Wait, that's all it's listed? Good luck, sir. Whoa, uh. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Well. Life sucks, you know. It's the damn blue helmets! Step on the platform. Stand within the circle. Or lose your arms and, and possibly legs. He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh! Well, that's a good piece of timing. Christ.
Uh, that was incredibly good. Amazingly good timing. Jeez. That actually... I actually got my heart rate up. <coughs> Believe it or not. Mr. Russell. Okay. Everyone please step off the elevator, no. proceed up the stairs and in order the Jeffrey Tambor. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future Woo. underground. So we just Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. We left a minute later. No, no, we don't, don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. All right. Hey. hey. Up the stairs. All right. So you're... You've got... You're a single-minded drone. Yeah, get a move on, Mr. Abel. Come on. Come on. Oh. Take a seat. Barf bag? Excuse me. Where? Where is he? Eat. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Hello, generic 50s doctor. This is our new home. Oh, you're going to love it. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. One of everything we had. Yeah, I've got only one word to say about Vault Tech. <laughs> we'll be going over all Gary. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have gotten that video together. That was that was freaking creepy. What? Oh. Okay, doke. Well, I'm gonna continue following. Vault Tech Doctor. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Oh, um, it'll be okay. So, what are these things gonna be doing? The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just realize. Oh, okay. So like a weird uh Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure complete. In five. <laughs> three. Two. One. I somehow don't think that that was decontamination. So oh, everything's just white now. All right, that's the game then, folks. I'll see you next time. Uh, oh, wait a second. Oh. Oh dear. Nate's incredibly protective of the baby. Yeah, make sure that baby doesn't fall. He's he looks like he's freaking out. Whoa! Oh, son of a bitch! No! Oh, god damn it! What? All right, that was freaking cryptic. Awesome. It's gonna be an awesome time.
And then they refreeze us. That sounds like me every freaking morning. What? Oh, crap. Um, out of time. Exit vault. Oh. Oh, boy. Here we go.